the humerus, the upper arm bone. The humerus, here we can see this is the, the head of the humerus, and this is going to be our medial. This is going to be to articulate with the glenoid fossa of the scapula. So this is the medial edge and the lateral edge of our humerus, and this is our proximal closest to the body and our distal heads of the, of the humerus. So let's take a look at the parts, and we're looking at this anteriorly towards the front. So we've already looked at the head of the humerus. Again, the head of the humerus articulates with the glenoid fossa of the scapula. And then we also have a couple of other bumps on the proximal head. This is called the greater tubercle, the greater tubercle. And then, and it's laterally located, and then Facing front, facing anteriorly, is the lesser tubercle, the lesser tubercle of the humerus. And both tubercles are attachment site for muscles of the, of the arm. In between the greater tubercle and the lesser tubercle is what's known as the intertubercular groove, the intertubercular groove. And a tendon for the biceps brachii passes through this intertubercular groove. So, in our, distal, in our proximal head, we have our head of the humerus, the greater tubercle, and the lesser tubercle, and the intertubercular groove. Going uh, distally, here we have our shaft, or our body, or the diaphesis of the humerus. And then here we have our distal end. Now in our lower, in our lower arm, this is our elbow joint. So we have two bones that are going to articulate with this, the ulna and the radius. And so there's going to be two joints here that we can see. The first one is more medially located, and this is called the trochlea. And the trochlea is going to articulate with the ulna to enable our elbow to bend and straighten, to flex and extend. So here's our trochlea. And then the other movement that we can do at our elbow is we can also rotate. We can turn our palm up or our palm down. We call that rotation or supination and pronation. And that is enabled by this part of the humerus articulating with the radius. This is called the capitulum, sometimes called the little head, because you can see it's quite rounded in comparison to the trochlea, which looks a little bit like a spool of thread. So here you have the trochlea, again, medially located, that articulates with the ulna. And then here you have the capitulum that articulates with the, with the head of the radius, with the radius. So the joint between the humerus and the radius enables the elbow to rotate. And then the articulation, the joint between the humerus and the, and the ulna enables the elbow to bend and straighten. There are additional bumps down here at the distal end as well. These are called epicondyles. Epi means on top of, condyle means uh, uh, is a bump that forms a joint usually. So these are condyles, we just give them special names. So here again we have, we're still on the medial side, so we have the medial epicondyle and the lateral epicondyle of the humerus. So the medial epicondyle and the lateral epicondyle. And these are attachment sites for muscles of the arm and also muscles of the forearm.